Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 or any other version of Windows that you have the ISO file for um, on a uh, iMac or MacBook or whatever. Uh, this works on Catalina, the latest update. The reason why I'm installing it is because um, Apple dropped support for 32-bit applications like uh, World of Warcraft here and other ones like, like Final Cut Pro. Um, so I have to uh, do a boot camp um, and install Windows. So... First thing you're going to want to do is um, is search up boot camp in your search bar. And then you're going to want to click continue. It's going to do this. It may take a minute if you uh, it has to connect. Um, and in the meantime, while that's doing that, you're going to want to go download from Windows website. You're going to want to download going to want to search Windows 10 ISO download. I'll leave this link in the description. You're going to want to go here. I'll leave this link again. You're going to want to select Windows 10, confirm. You're going to want to select uh, English or whatever uh, language you speak or whatever language you prefer. You're going to want to select that and you're going to want to click confirm and then that is going to download uh, a, a file that looks like this. It'll say um, It'll look like that. And now once you're back in your boot camp, um, you're going to want to select your partition size. Now I have a, I have a, because SSD storage is expensive, I have a smaller SSD on my MacBook Pro. Um, so I'm just going to make this the minimum, which is 48 gigabytes. I'm going to click, you're going to want to click choose right there. You're going to want to go to your um, downloads right here. You're going to want to find the Windows 10.iso. And just like that, you're going to want to click open. Just like that, you're going to want to click install. It may take a few minutes to install it because it has to download software. As you can see, it's downloading software. So we'll just wait for a few minutes. And now the next part of this video is actually going to be uh, off the computer. So it's actually just restarted. Um, and now it's going to boot into Windows. So uh, at, you have to enter your password right before it does this, and then it just simply um, boots into Windows. And just like that, it's gonna have your Windows set up just as normal. Um, and then you may be wondering, how do I get back to Mac OS? Well, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Uh, so right now, it's just, uh, just gonna set up Windows, like if you bought a brand new Windows computer, it's just gonna, um, it's just going to do all this, and when you get to here, it's, you may have to enter a product key. If you have a product key, fine, but you people don't notice you can actually get Windows for free, so you just click, I don't have a product key. And then you're going to want to click the architecture. I'm just going to select the uh, least um, storage one, the one that takes up the least amount of space, which is Windows 10 Home. Um, if you want to use any of these other ones, I guess you can, but it's not very necessary. You're going to want to click I accept the terms. And now it's going to install Windows. All right, as you can see, after I finish the Windows setup, just like normal, um, if you've ever set up a Windows computer, you know exactly how that is. But once you've finished setting it up, um, as you can see, when it's in Windows, I can click on stuff it's it's a full windows um you're gonna have to go through this boot camp installer um just click that i accept it's not crazy rocket science um some things until you restart the computer with this boot camp some things like the touch bar if you have a touch bar this isn't working the backlight isn't working obviously um it did that and this is pretty self-explanatory from here. So you can just set up Windows. This guide is um, going to show you how to install the boot camp drivers and everything. This is going to take a few minutes. Um, and I'll in a minute, once this finishes, I'm going to show you how to get back into macOS. Once you have completed the boot camp installer and it's restarted the system for you, uh, all your utilities work, like my touch bar works now so I can increase brightness and all of this should work. I should note that on uh, MacBooks like this, the brightness is automatically set really low, like this is not the full screen brightness, but if you look up there, it says it's the full brightness, you actually have to go into settings to fix that, but if you don't have a MacBook, this doesn't apply. 
Um, so to get back into Mac OS from here, all you have to do is go down to the Windows um, and click, uh, let's do that again. You're gonna wanna click Power, you're gonna wanna click Restart, and then it's gonna restart your system, and as it's restarting, you're gonna wanna click uh, the Alt or the Option key, and you're just gonna wanna hold that down. You're gonna wanna keep holding it down while the system is restarting. May take a minute, and then you'll be here. Um, and then from here, uh, you can um, you can select your Windows drive, or you can select your uh, Untitled or your default drive. So I'm gonna go back into Mac OS because I got I got to do some schoolwork now. Um, but basically, if if you ever want to switch between your Windows and your Mac, all you do is restart the computer and hold Alt the whole time while it's restarting, and then this is gonna bring up Apple again. And then I just have to bring in, I just have to put in my password. And just like that, it is good. Um, so if you guys have enjoyed this video, um, I hope uh, this helped anyone. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I can hopefully help you. Um, I should note that on older iMacs, like this older iMac over here, it's not going to work as easily. And there may, you may have to do some um, trickery to get to work on like an older 2012 to 2013 iMac. Um, and I think boot camp is discontinued um, below, um, pretty sure boot camp is discontinued below 2009 models. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. See you next time.